Ah, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be reviewing a fully iced out Moise Night watch from Harlem Bling. Stick around for the up close shots. We're gonna be weighing it, testing the Moise Night. As well, I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on the piece, but let's get into it. To start over a few basic details, let's start with the price. The price of this watch is gonna run you a hefty $1,400. But for the value of what you get, it's honestly not the worst. You're going to get 35 carats of moissanite, which is a lot, man. As you can see, this is a skeleton front one with no Roman numerals. And the whole thing is fully flooded. But yeah, $1,400 before any discounts. And it's going to give you about 35 carats of moissanite. And we'll get into the weight later. But for the length, this is going to be a pretty big watch, so if you have smaller wrists like me, you're definitely going to have to get some links removed. But if not, it should fit you fine if you're around an 8 inch wrist size, but for me, it's way too big. But there you go all around. This watch right here is going to be 42 millimeters, so this is more a watch for the boys with a bigger wrist, because 42 millimeters for me, honestly, on my wrist, looks pretty, pretty chunky. But if you have a bigger wrist, it's not going to look too bad on you. The biggest I usually go is 40 millimeters. I feel like that's a good like middle ground between chunky and not too chunky, but yeah. Still a great size watch. Even on my small wrist, it doesn't like protrude out. Like if I had it fit to size, it would still fit pretty nicely, so yeah. I also wanted to mention that there's sapphire crystal on the glass of this watch. So that means that it's not gonna scratch very easily like a cheap like $20 watch would. and. It's just gonna last you a lot longer because of that, but I had to point that out. I just wanna give a few details about the quality. One, I wanna talk about the stone setting. It's pretty smooth for the most part. If you slide your finger across, it feels a tad bit rough, but not in a bad way. It's pretty smooth, nothing sticks out, nothing like scratches you. Just not as smooth as certain pendants I think I felt. Overall, it looks pretty great. The stone setting is just pretty good. I don't think many stones are going to fall out. It looks like they're in perfectly, especially these big ones around the bezel. None of these are going to fall out, but yeah, I'll give you guys more details when I show you the up close of the face. I also wanted to mention that this is the box Harlem Bling like sends their watches in. It's a pretty nice fancy box that you can just keep it in. But here's a sneak peek at the well, next watch I'm going to review. Another fancy watch that Harlem Bling has, but that's for next time. <laughs> Before I get into the outdoor shine test, here's a quick look at the insides. Just so you can see the working moving parts. There you go. Pretty cool, man. This is honestly a beautiful watch that's made amazingly. Shout out to Eddie. But there you go. Inner workings look great. You guys got a quick look at the back just so you can see all the moving parts. As you can see, it says Miyoto Japan. And it has 21 joules a second, which isn't bad at all. There you go with the movement. Here's a quick look at it on my wrist. It is way too big for me, but look at that. If you go out of focus, this is what it looks like in person. If I'm being completely serious, like the colors are ridiculous. But this shit crazy, bro. Look at that. Comment y'all thoughts. Fuck with this watch. I think it's pretty cool though. I really like the skeleton face as well. Man, the quality of these stones are just crazy. Man, look at the wristband. Super shiny, man. Some disco lights type shit. Face outside. See all the working moving parts. Pretty cool, man. Very cool indeed. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm feeling different with this one. Too bad it's way too big. this blood my wrist type shit it is crazy I'm trying to get your wrist flooded get that moise in that watch that's actually crazy here's how the piece would look on your wrist if your wrist was
long and you didn't adjust it, but you can get an idea of how the watch would look on someone's wrist from a bit of a distance. Just trying to hold it down for y'all. As you can see, this watch honestly just has a very big presence. Like, you cannot miss this watch if someone's wearing it. Like, you see them on the phone like this, like, this watch is so shiny, you cannot miss it. Yeah, if you go with the wrist presence, pretty nice, man, pretty nice. Let me know what y'all think. I think it's a sick piece. It's probably one of the best pieces Harlem Bling has. But yeah, there y'all go. On the website, it says the pendant should weigh around 167 grams. 168, true to what the website says. When you compare the Harlem Bling watch and Ice Shine's Moise Night watch, at least this specific model, this one only weighs about 66 grams. So this watch actually weighs damn near 100 more grams in it. And you can feel them right next to each other. You can feel it on the wrist. So this is a really heavy watch. You can feel the quality. It's, it's just very well made. So you know we gotta test the moissanite. Start with the little stones. All right. Let's move on to one of these big ones. Passes. Let's try another one. There you go. One last one over here. This again. There you go. As you can see, legit moissanite. Or the blade will not scan you on that part. But yeah. You know we gotta test if it's real sapphire crystal. So we're gonna put the diamond tester on the glass, and if it goes up. Right before it beeps, it's real. There you go, real sapphire crystal. And what that means is this glass will not scratch on you. So this little metal pointer on the diamond tester is not gonna scratch this at all because Harlem Bling's quality is just superb. That'll be it for today's video though. I really hope y'all enjoyed this one. This one's a really cool watch for me. I'm very happy to review this one. Shout out to Eddie. But remember to like, sub, and comment whatever video ideas y'all may have. I'll be getting to them. Whatever comments y'all comment, I'll try my best to respond. But that'll be it for today. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.